Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on the Complete Kit Car Magazine app. This is the page that you'll see when you download the app for free and it'll include the issues that you'll have bought, either back issues or the current issue, uh, and whatever issues come with your subscription. Firstly you'll download the individual issues and then you can view them once you've downloaded them. So we're just going to go to the latest issue here. Uh, and to go through the uh, magazine you just scroll in the normal sort of way here that you'll be uh, swiping, that you'll be familiar with I should think. There are two other ways of navigating around the app. If you tap the screen, you'll see that these uh, page views come up at the bottom here. They're very small, so they're a little difficult to see what the actual pages are, but it's a good way, an easy way of navigating quite far into the magazine and then going from there to the actual issue that you're interested in seeing, the feature that you're interested in seeing. Uh, it's also quite a good way of coming back to the beginning uh, to start that way. Uh, a way I actually prefer to do it is to use the button up here with the four boxes in, and that gives you a much bigger view of the individual pages. So you can see here, this is uh, very easy then to flick right through to the end of the magazine, to flick back, doesn't take any time at all. Uh, and then if we just come back to the cover here. Uh, another way of going to specific features uh, is to actually just tap on the image that you're looking at, particularly on the cover and in the contents pages. So, for instance, if you wanted to look at the T70 feature, you just have to press that there and uh, you have a view which takes you straight to the article. So, again, you can view it landscape or portrait. And you'll see here that we've introduced additional photo galleries. Um, these are images that we've not managed to get into the paper version because we obviously only have a limited amount of space. So uh, these are images that you'll see for the first time in the magazine. You can pinch and zoom this way as you'll be familiar with or, or double tap. Uh, and then another feature of the app that's uh, one of the main features perhaps uh, are the movie links that we've got uh, throughout the feature. Again, this uh, never appeared obviously in, in the paper version and you can watch those either within the page like this. Uh, this is the Gardner Douglas T70 uh, in action at Blyton Park and you can pinch to zoom in to watch that a bit more from there or perhaps the obvious way is to just do it full screen. We introduce as many movie links as we can through the app. Uh, I should think there are probably 20 or 30 in this issue. Um, and I'm just going to take you back to the news pages, uh, sorry, the contents page. All of the images here are live, so they will take you to the actual features that you want to read, and all of the written entries are live too, with all the page numbers. So if you want to go to page 26 here, uh, which is about the Goodwood Revival, you can just tap on the entry and there it just takes you straight to it. And you can see already that uh, there's a movie link there, and there's an additional gallery of images here, again neither of which appeared in the paper version. We go to the news pages quickly. All of the web and email links are live. So this is a, a news item on Caterham. If you want to go to the Caterham website you can just tap on the screen there for the web address and it takes you straight to Caterham's website. If you want to email Caterham you can just actually tap on the email address and it brings up a dialogue box and so you can email uh, Caterham or whoever it might be directly from the app uh, and hopefully get a response from them. Uh, so those are the main features of the uh, CKC app. Lots of movies to watch uh, and lots of other features which we hope that you'll enjoy. Do give us some feedback on the app, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're always looking uh, at ways of improving it. So once you've had a, a flick through a few issues, do get in contact and, and let us know what you think. Thanks very much.